I'm here with the number three pick, first round draft pick for the Tulsa Shock. She's coming off back to back final four appearances with the University of Notre Dame. I have the one and only Skylar Dickens. WNBA life like for you right now? <laughs> um, a lot of traveling, um, games, you know, back to back at times, and uh, just just living that uh, that in season life. You know, I'm pretty pretty boring. I really don't do much. Kind of live for practice, and um, you know, just trying to get ready for these games and keep getting better every every day. What has that life been like for you, being the premier person of the of the WNBA? I'm not. I'm not at all. Um, I think in college, maybe you could say that. Uh, but coming into the WNBA, you have so many uh, great players in this league, great veterans who have paved the way, like for players, you know, paved the way for players like me to be in this league. So I, I, I'm not one of the three to see yet, um, but I hope I will be, you know. But I want to earn mine now. Just giving credit to the veterans who who've done so much for this league and so much for me as a player coming up watching them play. And it came down for me to Stanford and Notre Dame. Um, I was either going to go really far or I was going to stay right in my backyard. And um, I had the perfect university right in my backyard, fortunately. I was lucky enough to grow up with uh, a program like Notre Dame and a great uh, great coach like Coach uh, Buffett McGraw and that coaching staff. They were just awesome. So I was great to have them in my backyard and uh, just a great academic institution um, and a, a program that really developed me as a player. Now you signed, you're the first lady of Rock Nation Sports. What influenced your decision to sign with Jay Z? He's a great, he's a great business uh, and businessman. Um, everything he touches turns to gold, and I took a leap of faith with him and had a couple conversations with him and decided that that's where I wanted to be. And um, you know, it's the best decision, one of the best decisions I've made. And uh, I have a great team behind me, and I'm looking forward to do a lot of big things in the near future here. What do you do away from basketball that, can, that occupies your time? I heard that you can cook a little bit. So do we see a Skylar Diggins cooking show in the works? I'm still learning. My kitchen is very, uh, it's very, it's not broken in too much. I'm just gonna say that. Um, but I have a few little meals I can prepare and stuff like that. I I picked up the piano. I play a little bit of piano. Um, love to listen to music and things like that. Um, but other than that, I, I don't do much but, but play but play ball outside of that and uh, got into some TV. Love reality TV and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that, that's what it is for me. So what's it like gelling with your teammates? I, I noticed that now you guys you, you guys kind of struggled a little bit in the beginning, but you guys gelled together. You, you went through that. You started picking up some wins. What has that experience been like for you to gel with your teammates like Candace Wiggins, Liz Cambage, and those and those ladies? Yeah, well, we have a great group of girls. We get along so well um, off the court. Um, just such a tight knit group, and um, it's great having having players like like Liz and. Um, who's just a phenomenal player to play with, and Candice, who I've known for years, and is one of my really good friends, who's a vet and a world champion to, to learn from. So um, I, I love the group of girls here. I think it's fun every time I step on the court and get to play against the best players in the world. Um, I, I, that, that's pretty fun for me. Um, I can't think of one instance in particular. Um, but I just had to say the whole WNBA uh, experience as far as coming out on the court and playing against the best players in the world.